Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have another get ready with me video. I'm going to be showing you how I achieve this full glam makeup look and I am obsessed with the way this came out. So I decided to go for this super warm cut crease with like a halo effect and um, yeah I just love the way the makeup came out. I just decided to go for something really out there today and then I also did my hair on camera. It's just my usual curly hair routine. So if you guys want to get ready with me for this full glam look then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I am starting off today with my hair in a mask and I'm going to be using my moisturiser. So today I'm going to be using the Olay Whips Regenerist Moisturiser and you guys, this moisturiser is so nice. It's really lightweight, it literally feels like air and what I really love about this is that it's really like it just kind of like absorbs into your skin and it doesn't feel greasy which a lot of moisturizers tend to feel on me because i am really really prone to breakouts it's important that i use moisturizers that aren't too heavy and this is definitely perfect for that also what's great about this moisturizer is that it's perfect for the daytime because it doubles up as a primer it feels really smooth and it gives almost that like smoothing finish for underneath makeup that you need from a primer. So there are actually three variants of this moisturizer. The one that I'm using is the Regenerist one, so it actually reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, which obviously I'm only 23, but it's never too early to start and I just love the finish of this and it makes my foundation go on super smoothly, especially considering you guys know I really like to prime my skin properly when I apply foundation. So I'm going to be taking some foundation now and applying it onto my skin. I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation and an I'm going to be taking the iconic um, glow set, wait, set glow, wait, <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but it's the glow spray in the darker shade and I'm just using this all over the skin and what this will do is just make my skin look a little bit glowier because I am using matte product. This was also the point when I realised that I got makeup on my towel. <laughs> Only me. I'm using my beauty blender just to apply this into the skin and I'm using a very thin layer at first, I don't know if you guys can see, and then I'm going in with a little bit more on top, just on the areas that I need to, just because I don't want my foundation to be too thick, so I just want to apply it gradually just to prevent it from looking too, too thick. Next, I moved on to my eyes and I'm taking this eye primer from NARS. I've been loving this primer lately. It's really, really nice and it just creates a nice even base for eyeshadow to be applied onto the lids. Now, usually for a bright eyeshadow look like the one that I am doing, I would use concealer or I would use a much lighter base. But because the eyeshadow palette that I'm using is quite vibrant as it is, this primer worked fine, but if I wanted it to be more vibrant, I could use a white or a very, very light base to make it really pop. I did one eye off camera because I had no idea what I was doing, so once I figured it out, I went in to this palette from Certify. So first of all, going into this orange shade from the Destiny palette from Certify, I'm going to be taking this and applying this quite heavily into the crease and really extending it outwards, making sure that it does go up fairly high and just making sure that it has a nice seamless blend. Just because this is the colour that I really want to poke through all the other colours that we are going to be applying. I'm doing a cut crease today, so we need to make sure that um, this colour reaches high enough that it pokes through the darker colours we're going to be applying underneath it and then also there's enough space for the cut crease too. Next I'm going to be taking the colour Sixth Sense which is a really nice like deep red brown shade and I'm going to be taking this into the deeper portion of my crease and focusing this on the inner and outer corner because we want to start to create that halo effect. We do go in with concealer afterwards to make sure that the whole cut crease looks nice and seamless but we really just want to focus on getting this colour to blend in really seamlessly to the orange so going back into that previous brush is super important. Next, I'm going to be going into the colour Enchant and I'm going to be taking this on a smaller pencil brush and just focusing this on the inner and outer corner and what this will do is just create that spotlight effect. We will need to go over this after because we're going to go over it when we cut the crease but you just want to make sure that it goes into those previous colours seamlessly so again going back into that first brush is super important to make sure it all looks nice and smooth. Now using the same eyeshadow primer that I was using to prime my lids, I'm going to be creating the cut crease with this and you can use a concealer, you can use whatever works best for you and usually when I do a cut crease I tend to go into more of an extended shape that goes along towards the tail of my eyebrow but this time I'm following my lid going slightly above it and creating a very rounded shape to create this spotlight look. 
Just going back into the um, Enchant shade, I'm going to be applying that on the outer corner and the inner corner just so we don't lose that spotlight look. We really want to make sure that it looks nice and cut, but we do want to have the darker colour on the outer and inner corner to really give it that dimension. Then to really make the eyes pop, I am taking the colour Enchant and using this on the centre of the lid and just using this to create a really nice like a spotlight effect and then I'm taking a silver eyeliner and just using this to cut the crease even more and then I'm going to be using some black eyeliner just to create a wing before we apply our lashes and the lashes that I'm using are Lily Lashes in Miami so once I'm done with the eyeliner I'm just going to pop those on and finish off the eye look. So moving on to the rest of the base, I'm taking the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer and just using this underneath my eyes and we are going to be using this to kind of like carve out the shape of the eyeshadow as well. So I'm just using my Beauty Blender to blend this into the into my under eyes, onto my under eye area and then I'm going to be taking a small precise brush and just using that to basically do what I normally do with a makeup wipe uh, but use concealer to do this instead and just clean up that edge and you guys look at the difference when I like follow oh, it's like so satisfying and it looks so much neater so I would definitely recommend doing this especially if you had already applied your foundation before doing your eyes Next, I'm going to be taking some loose powder to set my base, and what I really love about the way my base turned out is that even though I'm wearing a fair bit of makeup, my skin still looks really smooth, and even though I used matte products, it looks really hydrated and still, like, it doesn't look cakey, which I really, really love considering I am wearing a full face of makeup, and I definitely hand that to the Olay Whips Moisturizer. It's really lightweight, and that really helps. If you have a really thick moisturizer on underneath your makeup, your makeup will not sit. So um, I've had enough experience with that. So I'm really glad that this moisturizer worked so well underneath even a really full face of makeup. So that's really good to know. I also went and applied some of this bronzer stick from Benefit and just used this around the outer perimeter of my face just to add a little bit of contour and bronze. And then I'm gonna be going on top of this using uh, the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Bronze. And I realized after I applied this, I was like, this is quite dark for my skin, but it ended up working out, so it's fine. I just used my Beauty Blender to make sure that it was nice and blended into the skin. For my highlight, I'm taking this highlight from Ofra and applying it to the tops of my cheekbones. And then to finish off my eyes, I'm keeping it relatively simple just because the top lid is so extravagant. I just took a little bit of that orange shade, which is Hex, and I just used that on the bottom lash line and used a fluffy brush again just to buff this out. And then I made sure to just apply some mascara to the bottom lashes and that's pretty much the end of the eye look. So next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows off camera and then I'm going to wash the mask out of my hair and then we're going to do my curly hair routine. I have actually done both an eyebrow routine and a full curly routine tutorial so I'm going to be linking those both down in the description but also I'll link them in the eye too so if you want to click that then you can go to the watch those videos afterwards. Uh, but I'll quickly run through what I'm doing so I'm just scrunching my hair a lot and I will leave some of the products that I used for my hair down below um, but I'm just using lots of product scrunching it into my hair and I tend to use more creams than anything just because because my hair at the ends are still bleached um, they don't tend to curl as much so if I use too much product it can tend to look a little bit straw like so I try really hard to not let that happen. Creams definitely work best for me uh, so I'm just using my towel to scrunch and also my hands and then I'm going in with my diffuser and just using this to blow dry my hair. So that's pretty much all I did for my hair. Like I said, I will leave a hair tutorial in the eye so you can go watch that after this and for my lips I just went ahead and applied a nude to my lips and that is it. So guys, if you are interested in the Olay Regenerist Whips Moisturizer, then be sure to click the link down below in my bio. I will leave it down there. It's available from Boots and that's pretty much all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you to Olay for sponsoring this video and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye guys.